So this question can look pretty intimidating at first. Um, the main thing you want to focus on is this little part right here. It tells you the direction that you're transposing and by how much. And you need to memorize these three distances. So it might say a major second, which is two semitones. It might say a minor third, like this one does, which is three semitones. Or it could say a perfect fifth, which isn't five semitones, unfortunately, but it's seven. And so those are the three distances that you might have to move by for this question. Um, so yeah, definitely have those memorized before you attempt this question. This one is down a minor third, so we're moving down three semitones. And you have to check each note going from this one to this one to see if that has been done correctly. And it's much easier with piano keys. So I advise, you know, drawing some of those out or doing it in your head if you're fairly familiar with them. Um, we'll skip the key for now. We'll do that at the end. So I would label them first. So this is a D and it's moving down to a B. And so you just have to have a look. There's D and it goes down one, two, three semitones. So that has been done correctly. You don't include the note that you start on. I didn't include the D. I started moving just after that. Like a board game, you wouldn't count until you'd started moving. So that's a tick. And then we've got B flat and a G. So we find B flat, move down to G, one, two, three. That has been done correctly as well. We have A next, F natural. A, moving down to F, one, two, three, and F is actually the fourth semitone down from A, so that one is incorrect. And then E, moving down to C sharp. Be very careful that you don't miss your key signature when you're labeling your notes. That's one of the most um, surefire way to lose points on this question. Okay, C sharp, E, moving down one, two, three. Yes, that's correct as well. Right, so for this last bit, you've got a key signature rather than a note. So you have to sort of convert this into a letter that you can then count from. So always use the major key. Two sharps is D major. So that's a D that I would write there. The major key that has two sharps is D major. Um, and the major key that has four sharps is E major. And so now I just have to move in the same way that I did for the notes, but using these letters. So D is my starting point and E is my destination. I'm trying to move down, remember, not up. But even if I do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, like it's miles away. E is all the way down here. So definitely not correct. You can see how someone might get that wrong because E is right next door to D. And if they accidentally started counting upwards, I know it's the second semitone if we move up that way. But um, if you forgot to not include the first note when you count and you did include that first note and went one, two, three, they do this kind of thing on purpose to try and trip you up. But uh, if you remember that you include the first note when you count, as like as but you don't include the first note as you count and you start counting when you move. And also double check the direction that you're moving as well. You should be fine.